Good morning and welcome to Vespa UK. Sunshine, 20 degrees. I put the really nice warm coat. I don't need that today. You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids that grow up in basements. Online, a whole new generation. I'ma make mine, so you better go take it. Always they need a new replacement. Decentralized kick. Why are you riding and drinking at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new one there? Very nice jacket. Yeah, 22 plate as well. Mm. Oh, we sat down there there. Oyster Island in Shawbrook. Who did? Sean? Lee's riding his Lambretta and drinking at the same time. Very professional. Mm -hmm. Have a look. Here we are again. Yes, I. Darby, how are you? I'm poorly, mate. <laughs> what are you, what's, what's up with you? I've got COVID and. Um, <laughs> no, I've tested negative for COVID. Two tests. Dyslexic Club Association. That's <laughs> <laughs> better. <laughs> I'll have a new Vespa UK sticker, Ara. How about that, man? It's official. It's official. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. It's great to be out though. Yes, the weather's nice. Nice turnout as well, mate. Yeah. So we're going to Shrewsbury today. Quite far. It's a nice pub there. And we're going to have a couple of beers there. Please join us. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna have some breakfast now. We got 20 minutes left for breakfast. I'm gonna have some porridge. That's quick, quick, to, and after breakfast we're gonna ride again. So come on, let's have, some, let's have something to eat. I'm gonna check out what uh, Ron's eating. Ron, what are you eating? What are you, what are you doing? Waiting as normal. Why were you ordered? Eggs on toast. And he's having eggs on toast. Wimp. I'm not having porridge no more. I changed my mind, so I'm having this. Apparently, that's what real men eat. No, really, I was just so hungry. Uh, I need some meat. Truly, I don't even know what is this, but it looks. but it looks nice. Looks rough, nice rough. Check out the speed. Having a cigarette, eh? <laughs> yeah, having a crafty one. Waiting for Darby to come outside with his cigarettes, so I'm gonna pinch one. Or maybe later when I have my beer. We don't have to buy cigarettes, Darby buys them. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking to, uh, to sort of make a sticker, take a picture of you, yeah. <laughs> and sort of car cartoonize it a bit, so it's a bit more like a cartoonish, cartoonish face. Yeah. Right? right underneath would say, uh, Darby Smoking. <laughs> Darby Smoking that. Club, yeah, I like that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? We'll make that sticker, and if you want one, let us know, and we'll, we'll send you one. At your expense, of course. <laughs> All right, it's time for us to go to Shrewsbury now. Stay tuned, and let's go with us. We're gonna have some beers when we're there, and enjoy the show. Let's go.
quick update, right? It was six of us riding to Shrewsbury. Now we stopped at this car park. It's not even a car park. Pulling. Layover bay, because three of us disappeared, gone. Maybe Andy broken down again, I don't know. Well, Neil went back to look for him. It's just us now. Myself, Paul, and the camera guy. I'm not too stroke oil, mate. Why does it smell nice? It's strawberry. It's weird because it smells strawberry. It's strawberry. This could be very misleading for a child. If a kid finds this, smells it, gonk. <laughs> not good. Manufacturers should not do that. <laughs> Enjoying the ride, even though it's only six of us left. Enjoying the ride, enjoying the weather. That's what it's all about. Let's be UK. Make sure you subscribe right now. Broke down. Andy has. Andy's broke down. His battery's completely dead. Oh shh. So we go to that pub then, yeah? Yeah. So there you go, folks. Andy McKay has broken down once again. We're not going to make it to Shrewsbury, unfortunately, but there is a pub around the corner there, so we're going to go there and have a beer whilst we're waiting for AA to come to fix this. <laughs> again! Andy! Again. Bugger, we're so close to Shrewsbury. I know. Just coming down there, open it up, and it started pulling back a bit. I looked down at the, the dashboard, nothing. No speed, no nothing. My horn wouldn't work. So I just managed just to roll up here and park outside a pub. That's nice, <laughs> at least we can have some beers now. So, yeah. what the pub is about. It could happen to any scooter, not just Vespa. We were... <laughs> it could happen to Royal Alloy. See? No, I think it's a scooter. Do you it's agree like, with that? Yeah, I agree breakdown. with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vespa Breakdown UK. Royal Alloy. <laughs> Up the alloy. The new Lambretta. Very nice. Who's buying a new Lambretta? I'm going to borrow a cigarette from uh, Derby now. Yeah. Thank you. If you're thinking of buying a, a scooter, it's definitely all right because Vespas are short. Oh, 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 oh. It's, a, it's a good price breakdown. Right. No, 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 all right. 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 <laughs> edit, edit. Royal Alloy. Edit Trevor out. <laughs> edit Trevor out, mate. And this uh, recovery arrived. I'm going to go have a look what they're going to say. All right, see. Again. Embarrassing. Look at the crowd. Look at this crowd. Look. There's none to see here. I'll go back drinking your beer. <laughs> go back drinking your beer. Shit, has got the whole workshop in here. Well, it doesn't look too good. I don't think it's the battery at all. He tried to start it, it wouldn't start. So maybe it's not the battery after all. God damn! As they say in Germany, kaput. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's not going well. Okay, I feel sorry for Andy now, but what are you gonna do? Fix your bike, man. What's the matter with you? The bike has started, and now we're gonna see if it's gonna run for long. Scooter's running now, but is it gonna run for long? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. You're okay, talking about Ron's scooter, right? So, all right, as much as we hate Royal Alloys, this one is fairly nice. I think it's just the color. Everybody likes the color.
black number plate, of course. It is illegal, but uh, never mind that. It looks actually quite nice. Mod flap, matching the color to his uh, scooter, of course. Did change his mirror, so he put uh, aftermarket mirrors, which looks actually nice. Aftermarket handlebars. Put a new fly screen, which looks looks actually all right. Whoop, see that gap? See, look at this gap. That it, it doesn't match. That's what you get with Royal Alley, but it actually looks nice, so not too bad. Other than that, I think it's pretty much stock. We have a digital speedometer, of course. These feel a little bit cheap, but then that's what you get with Chinese scooters. Not nice to touch at all. The 300cc engine, it pulls all right. Stock exhaust. These scooters, the Royal Alloys, they're slightly overpriced. Four thousand. They're like five and a half thousand pounds for this, right? Okay, I, I get it, it looks nice and everything, but it does still use a Vespa 300cc engine, if it's a 300, of course. But the 125 is a Chinese-made engine. There you go. So there you have it, folks, Royal Alloy 300cc. If you want one, you can buy one. It's gonna cost you a lot of money. It does look nice, but is it gonna do the job in long long run? I don't know. I'd get myself a GTS 300 HP. Very nice, very sturdy, great quality bikes. Made in Italy. Well, this is it, folks. The scooter is nearly recharged now. So what we have to do now is gonna jump on our metal horses and hopefully we're gonna make it back home on time before his battery runs out. Thanks for being here at Vespa UK. If you don't mind, hit the sub button. It'll help us a lot. And uh, until next time, stay tuned. See you later.